everyone, Samantha Hugan back again with another video. This one is near and dear to my heart because it's not just going to cover therapy, but it also will cover one of my favorite exercises, yoga. Stay tuned. So as some of you know, there is a lot of research and talk about how mindfulness, so that's when you are in control of your thoughts, maybe the images that flash through your mind's eye, is really, really beneficial for mental health. I use it almost daily in my practice with different clients for different issues, but one of the things that I know that it works really, 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 really well for is anxiety. So one of the things that I used to do uh, when I was a super anxious graduate student was just fret and worry all the time. And it became a really severe problem because not only did my body start It's really feeling, funny when your camera shuts off in the middle of a great idea. So fun, so fun, enjoying it. Anyway, sorry about that. Let's jump right back in. All right, so what I was saying is that anxiety was not only affecting my performance and my retention for new information, it was also starting to deteriorate my body. So I had things going wrong like being sick all the time to getting a couple of chronic illnesses that I've spoken about briefly before, and it just was falling apart. My world was falling apart, not to mention the illnesses were one thing, but the soreness that kind of moved into not just my muscles, it felt like it started to move into my bones. And again, there's nothing really to back that up. It's just a feeling that I had and a way that I was in the world. And it really, really brought me down. So around that time, I had a really great um, advocate and advisor that told me about yoga and said, why don't you just try to stretch it out? Why don't you just try to like clear your mind and get centered again? And that was back, gosh, that was back in 2012, which feels like a really long time. <laughs> now, I didn't realize I'd been practicing yoga for seven years, so that's really exciting, saying it out loud. But that's when I started, and I didn't start doing any of the crazy poses or doing it for a long period of time, because my goal wasn't exercise, it was more mental health. My goal wasn't to touch my toes and do backflips and do all those crazy things, even though it's super fun and awesome now, like it's super great. But it was to just calm the mind, get centered, get focused, and to think about something besides homework, besides papers, besides what the future looked like, and if I was gonna be published or not published, or write a decent thesis, things like that. So my point in making this video is that there is a connection between mental health and your body. And one of the quickest ways maybe exercise in general would, would be considered something great. I think exercise can be defined by you, the lovely viewer, and also can be uh, defined by, I don't even know what I just said, but I'm pretty sure I said the wrong word. We'll see, we'll see. But my point is, I'm not going to define exercise for you, because for me it's yoga. For me it's walking my dog, going hiking, and doing yoga and lifting weights, but maybe running is your exercise of choice. You can get the same or almost similar benefits of doing yoga because you are having that mind and body connection. They talk about the runner's high, they talk about you know the moment where people are able to kind of shut it off and just run, and then, and then at the end of it, they're able to solve problems and come up with a solution at the end of the day, which is, isn't that the point, right? Is to get your mind focused and centered. Some people even say it makes their stress go away, which is exactly what we're going for here. When I work with clients and I introduce yoga, I always tell them that it's not about going and being able to touch your toes, do those crazy poses. It's about getting that connection with yourself. So is that mind, is that body, is it both, is it spiritual? That is something for my clients to define, but I really encourage them to go as fast or as slow as they want to in what is known as a practice, right? So I'll leave some links below about the, th about I think there's three people that I love, love, love on YouTube that I follow if I'm not in a yoga class. And honestly, sometimes I don't have time for yoga classes, so I have to have my practice at home. And I really love that and that's beneficial to me. Now that that's not every single yogi because some people really appreciate the community that is a yoga class. For me, I am just dipping and doing it so much that I like to do it on my own and have it at my, my own pace. Now, I 
I am a morning, morning yogi and I'm also an evening yogi. So I like to do yoga in the morning, kind of stretch, refresh, get centered. And then if I'm having a really long, um, roughish day, I'll do uh, some bedtime yoga to calm down and have a better sleep. And trust me, the sleep I get after yoga is so good. So I encourage you to figure out what time of day exercise is good for you, what time of day yoga is good for you, and then stick with it. Because if it's something that is singing to your heart, if you are drawn to it, you're going to stick with it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And that's the, the whole point. So like I said, below are three channels that I love. I love Cole Chance Yoga. I love her. I'm obsessed. She is amazing. Uh, I just love her teaching, her way of going about the world. She is just my guru. Follow her to the end of the earth. Then I also love Yoga TX. They have a lot of different teachers and a lot of different classes. And then I like Eckhart Yoga. Yoga. Yogurt. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Uh, Eckhart Yoga, because they were the ones that I started with a million trillion years ago. And I just, I, lo I love them. They're, they're great. And I think they're branching off into new directions. So you can stay tuned for that. Then I almost forgot the woman of the hour, Sarah Beth Yoga. She is um, just a mother of two. She is a really good yogi. She has a really nice easy flows for when you are sore or when you're trying to calm down. Um, she also has power yoga, which I'm getting into, which again, I didn't know my body could do that, but look at me now, right? So each uh, link that I have uh, mentioned below, go peruse, figure out if it's something that you want to do, figure out if it's something that you can do, because don't hurt yourself. That's not the point of this. It is getting that connection with your mind and your body. So if you check out anyone below, let me know. Let me know who you loved or who you gravitate to. Let me know if there's somebody I missed that you loved following and practicing with. Comment down below. And until next time, I'm Samantha and take care of yourself. All right. Bye. Mm -hmm.